Hi there everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I'm here to do a card reading for you today. The first card that came out was Abundantia and it's Prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. And then we got Isolt, Undying Love. The love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation. And Siege, Quiet Time. Spirit's telling you to take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Yamanya is a golden opportunity. Important doors are opening for you right now, so you need to walk through them. Whatever you're being called to do, follow your guidance. Follow your inner guidance. Athena, use your internal wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom at all times and take appropriate action without delay. Archangel Uriel is with us. Your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition because they're gifts from God. Angel Sadalfin, we angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. Lift your arms up to the sky and say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you until you start feeling the energy rise up in your body. And it's an opportunity to spread your wings. Don't hold back. Don't hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. You got Archangel Brazil. Your clairvoyance is high. You know what to do. You're listening to your guides. I am helping you and your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. You need to prioritize Archangel Metatron, focused on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and moti motivated. Don't forget to nurture yourself. Be kind, be gentle, Archangel Gabriel. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important right now for you. Call on the angels to help you. It's angel therapy. Archangel Raphael. Give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. Really give your problems away. Don't hold on to them anymore. We're Jesus died for our sins so that we wouldn't have to suffer. And part of that suffering is self-induced. That's the stories that we tell ourselves, the stories that we listen to. Your clear audience is increasing with Archangel Zadkiel. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind and from other people. It's time to have a life review. Archangel Jeremiah. You gotta take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. It's the only way that you are going to see changes happening in your life. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. You're a child of God. And when God works through you, miraculous things happen. So just be open to receive and allow it to flow. Don't be afraid of it. Let it out. Be everything. Be everything God wants you to be. Archangel Michael's with us. You are powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Take time to write down your thoughts in a journal or 
pen an article or a book. That's Archangel Gabriel. You're going through a career transition. Things are changing rapidly. Archangel Shamil. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. Expect miracles. Expect the best. You know, we're all overcoming the difficulties. The worst is now behind us. And you are surmounting any previous challenges. You're taking what you have learned and you're putting it into action. You're actually using it. Be open. Be open to receiving because all is well. Everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you will soon understand. Just breathe. Take several deep breaths in and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. There's many, many self-help creators out there that are just amazing. And I've shared a lot of them in my community section of my channel. And it's really been helping me. But initially, you got to take the first step to heal yourself. Nobody else can do it for you. They can give you the tools. They can share the same experience. We all are connected, really. It's clear sentience. sentience. Notice your reoccurring physical and emotional feelings as they signify divine guidance. Pay attention to the moon cycles. You know, the moon is responsible for most of our feelings and emotions. And you can pinpoint, you know, when things are happening by the moon cycles. So notice how it affects your energy and your manifestations and capitalize on these cycles. Your loved ones in heaven are proud of you. And they're fine. Let go of your worries and feel their loving blessings. They with you. They support you. They're proud of you. Have patience. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. Peace comes from remembering that only love is real. Don't give your energy away to people that are in darkness. Just send them love. Send them blessings and wish them well. Teaching and learning. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. Go outside. Spend time with nature. Spend time getting to know your true inner being. Listen to what your body needs to hear. Because you know what to do. You have spiritual understanding and you're growing. You realize how the cycles are. Trust and follow your passion. Clean your chakras. Call in Archangel Metatron to come in and clean out your chakras. You have a victory coming. Because, you know, Clear your space. You are safe. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and your home. That's Archangel Michael again. Call in your angels. Ask them to clear the way. Have courage. Because prosperity is right around the corner. You are loved. Have compassion for those that don't understand. Give comfort to those who need it. And you'll have relationship harmony. Pay attention to the people that you love. Have a healthy lifestyle. Take charge of your body, your health. Take back your power. You're a natural counselor. 
people look up to you. Be gentle with yourself. So, you know, there's a lot of changes going on and it's divine order, you know, everything is how it's supposed to be right now. But pass the illusion and see underlying order. Pay attention to your thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. You know what to do. Trust your inner guidance. Be strong. You are stronger than you think you are. And your strength assures a happy outcome. Segment. Be strong. Tally. The old must be released so that the new can enter. You have to release it because you're the high priestess. You have divine knowledge that can help others through your spiritual teachings. And you, you know, you've just squandered it away to yourself. Don't listen to that ego. Let it go. Be bold because Freya is with you too. Unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. Be independent, because your independence is the foundation of your strength and success. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? What do you want to do? Listen to the cycles and rhythms of your body. So the moon cycles and your body, listen to them. Feel the different energy in the air you have a bright future stop worrying everything is working out you could be dealing with past life trauma you may have to do a general you could be the generational curse breaker you're a channel for divine healing power go to bodies of water to recharge yourself the ocean is electric. Water is electric. It holds energy. That's why they want to control the, the water too, with dams and everything else. But one thing about water, water will reclaim its rate of passage. So with all the changes going on in the world, you know the transformation of the earth and everything happening. Expect miracles, you know, you're blossoming. Be easy with yourself. See how far you've come. See the people that are in your corner supporting you. They love you. You're transforming. You're being bold. Be bold. Unleash your adventurous side. Let spirit give give everything to God. God, spirit, higher power, whatever you believe in. There's only source energy. The creator. The one and only. You're the high priestess. You have divine knowledge that you can help others through your spiritual teaching. We have to release the old to make room for the new because you are a channel for divine healing power. You know what to do. Call on the angels. They're there for us. Call back your power. Wish well for your neighbor. Expect miracles. Expect good things. Focus on the goodness. Focus on the changes that you can make in your life, starting with you and the way you feel. And then just watch the miracles happen. Be yourself. Be authentic. Go to God. 
If you're sinning, ask for help. Ask God. The spirit of jealousy, the spirit of envy, the spirit of any kind of low vibrational feeling that makes you feel stuck so that you can't move. You'll be forgiven for your sins. But doesn't mean you keep you keep sinning. You gotta make changes. Take control of your brain. Take control of your thoughts. Put your ego in check. Put him in his spot where he belongs. You know what to do. You know what changes you have to make in your life. Remember to breathe. Remember you are number one. Your health is number one. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anybody else. And if you're just giving it all away and you're not receiving it back, call back your power.